we will speak first again of pollution which as you know again is disruption when humans killed so many species on your planet and filled many forests and disrupted digging into earth you cut holes into mandalas as you have energy networks that have been around building evolving for many millions of years in just a few years humanity has literally severed mandalas by destroying the anchors into earth that were there filtering the energy now there are great disruptions in your force fields around your planet however everything is in evolution everything grows evolves adapts including nature and mandalas the mandalas that you have now are not the same as the mandalas 100 or 1000 or 5000 years ago this is because you have again wreaked a bit of havoc upon your planet but also because there are many new frequencies on your planet that came so quickly the machineries the electronics have brought new mandalas many think of these frequencies as bad because they are out of harmony with the frequencies that have existed always but again as we say pollution is a disruption of the natural flow and emanation and existence it does not mean it is bad you have these new frequencies and it is your right to claim them and put them to valuable use and purpose these are new energies that could overwhelm the ancient frequencies or you can plug them in and they can supercharge the ancient frequencies while bringing modern era skill and ability to them we want you to think about this it is so relevant you know when you look in your body and you say i am getting an illness you know that many illnesses can be healed by your thoughts and your beliefs that any illnesses occur because of your thoughts and beliefs and emotions you have this ability so as your things like 5g and emissions are crowding and destroying the mandalas and grids that have been here you have the ability with your thoughts and beliefs to transform them into food for the ancient ways for the ancient mandalas the ancient networks so that all of these seemingly disparate networks and energies on your planet these different systems may become one harmonious symphony of energy we would like you to meditate on, on this through the coming week 
but we encourage you to be careful as you are not trained in diverting energies to grids and weaving them together. So we do not expect you to take any actions. Just open your awareness and ponder. I have a question. Yes. You mentioned 5G as a form of pollution. I want to make sure I understood that correctly. Well, There's conspiracy theories out there about 5G and I just, is it a bad thing? There are those who are harmed by the 5G energy because they are not in harmony with it. They are fighting it. Just as when you are in nature and the city noise comes at you harsh and fast. However, these can be woven together. Think of the 5G again as the weed in your garden. There are those who are very much harmed by it. There are those who are getting headaches from it or developing cancers from it, or those who find they cannot meditate from it because it's that frequency that is discordant with the energy that they live with. But just like, hmm, you can plug it into your energy with an adapter and it will power you up all the more quite harmoniously. It does not need to be ancient or new because honestly, from our perspective, you are all children. So, None of you are so old that your ancient is better than anyone else's. Does, does that, do you understand this? Y yes. Can I, so for example, I love dandelions. And I think that they're medicinal and I think they're adorable. But so many people spend so much energy getting rid of them. Is this the same sort of comparison? This is Perfect. Yes. Yes, indeed. So think of the 5G as dandelions. And you are trying to keep your grass with just the one style of green. And you think this dandelion is the foreign invader. When in actuality, the dandelions have been flourishing much longer in the wilderness than fresh mowed lawns have been. So yes, the 5G energy is not a new one. It's just newly harnessed and directed by humans. However, again, connect with your ancient energies Bring up, meditate with the frequencies, the powers of the planet, and you will find this 5G is no more than an energy that you can use to amplify the current work you're doing. It is not the energy that is toxic. It is the human's resistance and fighting of it that creates toxic within you. A question? Yes. Um, when you were referring to um, putting an adapter towards the 5G, are you referring to some kind of filter by the power of the mind? Yes, you may imagine. The purpose of the adapter is for your comfort of connection. So
So you may imagine whatever you wish. For certainly each of you at this moment has the ability to connect with every frequency in existence. It is just that you are not yet comfortable doing so. By creating a mental adapter or emotional imagining it, what you're doing is allowing your mind to accept that this energy, when it touches your energy, will become positive and wholesome. Very true. Um, as my Guruji says, if you're meditating and there's noise around, just use that noise to get deeper into your meditation. This is true. This is true. Thank you. Of course, this is our pleasure.